All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. We've got a knife to review. Comes by way of the Apex Pass Around Group. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, and Log and TV. And let's get started, guys. This is a rake knife. This is uh, the rake uh, D198 PB. I keep wanting to say 189. 198 PB made in China by uh, Rake. A really simple box, practical knives and tools is their thing. And you guys know they're usually very, very on the much on the budget side. And this one is over available over on uh, Amazon. And let me go up here to remember the price $28 on Amazon. Uh, and uh, yeah, so if you're just looking for a big, and by the way, very big, uh, beater knife, uh, this might be your guy. Now you got this high flat grind in a beautiful satin finish on a big long blade. And that's usually a recipe uh, for a knife that I just absolutely love, but we'll talk more about that. You've got the D81PB uh, and all the other numbers and 8CR13MOV for the steel. Now they're calling this uh, by the way, they could, they say the Rockwell hardness is 57 to 59 on that 8CR. So do with that information what you'd like. Um, let's see. The handle material is called PA66 plus 35% GF. So basically what I think this is is some sort of plastic. Uh, um, it, it, it feels like an FRN or GRN. It's It's pretty much a molded plastic. I don't think this is milled. I think it's molded. Uh, you do have, uh, your screws are countersunk. You have a countersunk uh, tip up uh, left and right uh, pocket clip. Uh, the screws do mushroom out. I didn't really have a problem with it. You know what? I'm just going to double check because it's been a few days since I've carried it. Let me just make sure in the pocket. Yeah, no, I, I wear thinner pants, um, you know, like cargo pants, and I don't have any problem with those screws because, you know, they're not sticking out that much. Good uh, retention on the pocket clip, a little bit sticking out, but not much. Uh, raised pivot on both sides, and there you go. So let's give it a flick. Now, uh, you do have a pokey, kind of pokey uh flipper tab with some jimping. Now I will tell you, you can easily fail this. Uh, I am not sure if this is, um, if the issue is, uh, the detent, which is pretty light or a combination of the detent and a kind of gritty pivot. Uh, I don't know. And I don't take apex, uh, you know, pass around knives, uh, apart. Uh, but that's my guess. You can see it just doesn't want to go. It is very stiff feeling. Uh, now, is this guy running? The, the, I'm sorry, guys. When you read sometimes on, on um, rakes materials, it's hard to find out uh, if they are running on bearings or not. Uh, the, the details are, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see here if I can find... I don't know if it's sitting on bearings. It feels like it's on bearings. Uh, you know, like when you look down there, it kind of feels like it should be on bearings, but it really does not tell me. Um, unfortunately, they tell me that it's good for camping and hiking and fishing and hu hunting and everything known to man, but they don't tell me whether it's, uh, I believe it to be bearings, but I am not sure. Um, it is just hard to see because you've got it so dark down in there, even with a flashlight, it's just really hard to tell. Now you do have, uh, again, another thing that would make me think that this is a polymer or a plastic. Let's see how one side, the black, the back spacer is built in and the other side just screws into that. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's what we're dealing with here. You do have a little bit of kind of worthless jimping down here. Um, and some pretty aggressive jimping up here on the thumb ramp. You can sort of choke up in here, but man, you better keep your finger back on that flipper tab uh, because it's not very big. Uh, I personally prefer this grip. You've got plenty of room all the way back here, uh, and that's just a little too tight for me. Good thumb ramp. The jimping's pretty okay, but not really grabby, and you can come up here, and it's chamfered off pretty well. 
up on the spine. Now, again, nice high flat grind all the way up. Let's talk about some specs, guys. This one um, is uh, 0.13 on the blade thickness, so not super thin, but not thick either. Uh, it is 9.09 .09 inches long overall, uh, and grip wise, I mean, um, closed side, fold, folded size, as they call it, 5.24 inches. Um, and they do not give me a weight, so we're going to have to pull out Mr. Scale here. Let's pull this guy to the side, and you guys can just listen to me yabber while I reach over here and get my scale. And we will see how much this guy weighs. They just don't want you to know. So we're going to find out. All right, 4.16 uh, for, you know, a very long blade. That's really, really nice. That's not bad. Uh, and again, with a polymer handle, you would expect it to be uh, fairly lightweight like that. So again, uh, not bad. Again, if this were my knife, I'd probably take it apart, clean it, and see if I can get it to pop a little bit better. I don't usually do much with an Apex knife. Um, but you can see, guys, it will flip. Um, you just got to mean it. Um, and if you don't mean it, that's what happens right there. Uh, lock up. Uh, yeah, I would call it about a 15. Uh, good access to the lock bar. You guys know I don't really need this silly jimping on my lock bar. Just give me a flat piece of steel that I can push against. I'm not sure why people need that or want that. You do see the detent ball there. Um, yeah, there you go. Stop pin back there as well. Um, all right, let's see. As far as centering, yeah, I would call. Well, let me look at it off camera. Yeah, I would call it centered. As far as lockup, tiny little bit of play, no lock rock. I'll tell you what, let's get, I haven't cut with this. Uh, again, I don't typically, I mean, I haven't. I have cut with it. I, have, I haven't I have done a lot of paper is what I was trying to say. I cut a piece of, a couple of pieces of cardboard with it the other day, and it did pretty good. So I'm just curious what it does with paper uh, with this decently thin stock. So we're going to use some pages out of a SMKW catalog. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, the way it handled uh, the way it handled cardboard, I was pretty sure this is what it was going to do with paper. So yeah, no issues with the sharpness. Whoops! Except if I screw up, uh, no issues whatsoever with the with the sharpness of this knife. It definitely cuts. We'll leave some pieces of uh, catalog laying there just to prove it. And uh, yeah, not bad at all in that category. So here's the thing. It's $28. Um, and it is a big knife. And you know what? By the way, I didn't tell you. Uh, Grip-wise, it feels pretty good. You know, I, I, I think this is CEO approved. There's some awkwardness because of this, the shape of the handle and the way it kind of crams me into the flipper tab. Uh, but overall, you know, it it feels pretty good in the hand, um, and it's got this big, tall, flat ground uh, blade. But again, it is 8CR, and it doesn't have the greatest action in the world. So uh, do with that what you will. Lockup is great. Um, I think for $27, this would be a great knife uh, to keep in a tackle box, to, to do whatever with and maybe even to give away to your uh, cousin uh, who d isn't really into knives, but just wants a knife. Um, so there you go, guys. And you know what? It, again, this is a knife that if you wanted to, you could take this guy and work with it. I feel pretty comfortable. But again, don't forget, HCR, you're going to have to sharpen this quite a bit. So there you go, guys. The uh, Rake uh, P... 19 a D 198 PB D9 D oh come on D 198 PB which always reminds me of peanut butter and makes me grumpy because I can't get Jeff right now but anyway there you go there's my review on this guy and I saw um where I had missed a review from Big Red EDC on this knife so now that I've done mine I'm going to go back and watch his and see what he said cuz I missed that one but uh there you go guys uh, enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Hopefully you liked it and uh, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.